Welcome to the first in a series of short guidance videos on using the Carbon Footprint and Project Register tool. The tool has been developed by the Sustainable Scotland Network team at Keep Scotland Beautiful, Resource Efficient Scotland and partners to support the public sector to implement effective carbon management processes. The tool will help you in calculating your annual and future carbon footprint, as well as collating and managing your very own project register. It is hoped that in using this tool correctly, public bodies will find it easier to complete Section 3 of the Public Bodies Climate Change Duties Reporting Form. This video will focus on getting started with the tool, with information on how to use the guidance and navigate your way around the document before diving in to use it. When you first open the tool, you will most likely be prompted to enable macros. To do this, simply click the Enable Content button like this. If you do not see this pop-up upon opening the tool, either your version of Excel already allows for macros, or you may need to manually enable macros by going through your Excel settings. Please contact SSN if you are not sure how to do this. It is very important you read all the available guidance notes about the tool before you begin to use it. This will assist massively in your understanding of what the tool does, what its limitations are, and how to use it efficiently and correctly. Guidance notes can be found on the first worksheet called Read This First, shown here. Within this sheet, there is general guidance on the tool, as well as guidance on each individual worksheet. Where a worksheet is referenced, such as here, there are hyperlinks that link directly to that particular section of the tool. Once there, you can return back to the first worksheet by clicking the help icon on each sheet. As shown again here, and click the help to return. Please keep a close eye on the color coding scheme that the tool uses. Light blue cells are for data entry, whilst green cells contain formulas that cannot be overwritten. Columns listed with brown headers tell you that you must enter data into these columns in order for the tool to correctly calculate emissions and or project savings. This is demonstrated here. For example, these two columns must contain data or the tool will not be able to do what it needs to do. Additionally, please keep a close eye for comment cells that have been placed into the headers of some of the tables. The red bar at the top right hand corner of cells denotes where comments have been entered to assist you, such as here, 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 and so on. Renewables are considered differently in this year's update of the tool than they have been in the past. To assist with this, we have included worked examples of how to enter renewable emission sources and projects within this worksheet shown here. Should your organisation have renewable installations, please take time to review this before using the tool. And finally, additional guidance and resources can be found on our website by clicking the link at the bottom of the Read This First sheet. This can be found here. This web page contains more information on the tool, a guidance document as well as slides from training sessions and other information.